So what are we going to accomplish in this specific project? The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get actually a web page, right? Uh, from Wikipedia. So the topic that I have chosen is artificial intelligence, right? So we are going to input a link of uh, artificial intelligence Wikipedia page. Later, what we are going to do with it is we are going to get the data and convert it into lower format right so it the, if there is anything that is in capital letters will be converted into lower letters after that the thing that we are going to do is we are going to replace uh, you know the symbols that are present there right uh, something like that has also been done in the previous module right where we used the re module here we are also going to use the same module after that we are going to develop sent tokenization which will uh, you know give us sentences and after that we are going to develop word tokenization which will give us words right and in the same way the next step that we did uh, previously was to uh, you know make the lemmatizer right so we are going to use the wordnet lemmatizer to do that and after performing lemmatization what we are going to do is we are going to get the processed text right later we are going to uh, you know get the greetings and the greeting responses and uh, generate greeting responses as well after that we are going to use tfidf vector module as well as cosine similarity right and let with the help of that we are going to complete our chatbot right so most of the things that we are going to do here has already been done once before however this chatbot is a little bit different than the one that we did before therefore there are a few things that will be new here right so let's start by importing the libraries the first library that we are going to import is nltk so let's write import nltk if you do not have nltk installed just write pip install nltk right here i have done this previously as well after that we can also import numpy so let's write import numpy as np after that we are going to import two more things first so first one will be random right to make sure that we get the random corpus when we are developing our chatbot so for that let's write import random and after that let's uh, import string as well so most of these are standard libraries and if you do not have then you should just write pip install string and random and all of that right and later what we are going to do is we are also going to import bs4 which is beautiful soap right and we will be using bfs4 to write uh, read the web page under consideration so for that let's write import bs4 as bs and uh, two things that we are going to need right now other than that are url library which uh, will be a request library right because we are actually reading the you know information online so that information has to be uh, you know gotten with the help of something and we are going to use the request library for that so let's write import url library dot request request after that let's also import re okay now let's run this and let's put in a few more cells as well okay so this was the first step of uh, you know packages and uh, project overall discussion in the next video we are going to uh, get the web page from wikipedia so in the next step what we are going to do is we are going to use the request library to get out the uh, you know uh, web page from which we want the information so i have selected the web page of artificial intelligence you can get your own web page and start developing your chatbot 
later what i am going to do is i am going to get out the data with the help of beautiful soap library if you are familiar with it that is a library that is utilized to get out the data later i am going to get the paragraphs out of the whole complete data and initialize a data text uh, you know uh, variable later i am going to make sure that all of the you know uh, data is given into data text and it is converted into small letters so let's get it started so the first function uh, uh, sorry first step is we need to make a link so for that let's write get link is equal to we are going to use url like dot request here as i have told you we are using the request library so dot request and here i am going to also write dot url open dot url open is equal to uh, this one so i have already copied the uh, link and pasted it right here so the next step is actually to read the data that is available in this link so for that i am going to use the read function right so let's do that i'll save everything in the get link function again get link variable right so for that let's write get underscore link dot read after that what i am going to do is i am going to actually use the beautiful soap library to get the data out of this link so let's write data is equal to beautiful soap has been uh, you know imported at bs4 as bs so let's write bs dot beautiful soap and after that i'm going to give the link into that so for that let's write get link and after that i am going to give the format uh, in which i want the you know text which is lxml so here it will be converted into the data format right and later i need to get out the paragraphs so for that let's write data underscore paragraph which will be in turn equal to data dot find and here i am going to you know uh, use the p word why is that p digit the reason for that is each paragraph in wikipedia is actually divided by p right so now that i have all the paragraphs the next step is to get the text out of the paragraph so for that the first step is to make a variable data text which is empty and after that i'll make a function with the help of which we will get all of the data from the paragraph so for that we need to use a loop so for that let's write for para in data underscore paragraphs right so what is in the paragraphs all of the data is available there now we want the data in the data underscore text so for that i will write data underscore text with increment and equal to para dot text so everything that is available in para will be saved into data underscore text so let's write para dot text so now that we have saved everything into data dot text what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is not in the uh, capital letters right so for that i am going to use the lower function so let's write data underscore text is equal to data underscore text dot lower so there we go this will make sure that our data is at the end saved into the lower format after this what i am going to do is i am going to uh, you know uh, decrease all the symbols that are available in this page and i am going to do that with the help of re which we have imported right here so we'll do that in the next video now that we have all of the data the next step is to actually 
decrease all of the things that we do not want in our text right so for that in the first step what i am going to do is i am going to decrease the digits right and later i am going to decrease things such as plus sign and things like that right and i am going to change all of these things uh, with a space so let's do that first let's write data underscore text is equal to re dot substitute right and in substitute i am going to write r slash right and then i'll use this one and two times i'm going to use the you know square brackets and tell it if it uh, the words are from 0 to 9 then you should change it other than that if there is an hysteric right so let's write hysteric other than that if there is a slash as well right so let's do that and what do we need to do with all of this we need to exchange it with some uh, things such as uh, you know space right so for that let's enter a space here and let's close this one and let's delete the last one and it should be performed on data underscore text so there we go now that we have done this again data underscore text will be written right and this time i'm going to write re dot sub and in that i'm going to write r again apostrophe slash s and plus sign right so we do not want pluses in that either right and we are going to change that let's write this one and we are going to change that with a space as well so yeah like this and this operation should also be performed on data underscore text so in this way we will be deleting all the variables right uh, sorry all the symbols in the later video we are going to develop the tokenization now we are going to perform two type of tokenization the first one will be sentence tokenization and the second one will be word tokenization so let's start doing that so first let's write data underscore sentences is equal to nltk dot sentence sent sentence tokenize right so tokenize and here i am going to write data underscore text after that i am going to perform the word tokenization and for that i am going to write data underscore words is equal to nltk same library i did not write t here nltk same library and after that i am going to write dot word underscore tokenize and here i am going to write data underscore text so there we go now with the help of these two commands what are we doing we are developing two type of tokenizations we also did that in the previous module as well so first type of tokenization is for sentences for that i have written sentence tokenization sent underscore tokenize after that we are going to get the word with the help of words tokenization so let's run this and in the next video we are going to move on towards lemmatization so let's run this now let's move on to the next part of the project in which we are going to perform the lemmatization so for that first let's you know uh, initialize a lemmatizer so wn lemmatizer is equal to and we are going to use the wordnet lemmatizer here so for that let's write nltk dot stem dot word net lemmatizer right l e double m a t i z e r right so after doing that what is the next step the next step is to make 
two functions so the first function will be to perform the lemmatization so for that let's write define perform underscore lemmatization lemmatization right and here i am going to give tokens as input and what will be returned from here so we will get all of the uh, tokens with lemmatizations right so for that if we want to write it in one word we will have to write return and in square brackets we are going to use a for loop in which we are going to say if token are available in tokens then we should uh, tokenize all of those tokens so let me write that part actually first so for token in tokens right and if you are familiar with uh, one line for loop uh, the thing that we are going to do will come before that and what we are going to do is we are going to write wn lemmatizer dot lemmatize and what are we going to lemmatize the token so there we go at the end of this we will be able to lemmatize all of the tokens that are available after that uh, the next step is to actually remove the punctuation if there is any punctuation available so in the same way we are going to use a for loop uh, just like we did right now right so first let let's write punctuation removal and which will be equal to dictionary right so actually let's write the for loop before again right so the for loop is for punctuation punctuation in string dot punctuation right so if it is available in string dot punctuation then it should be deleted so for punctuation in string dot punctuation what should we do let's get here so what should we do if there is a punctuation available in string dot punctuation we should actually make a dictionary right and in that we are going to order the punctuation by none so let's write ord punctuation if it is available of course so punctuation comma none so it is actually decreasing or deleting all of the punctuation if any is available right so what is the last step the last step is actually to define another function which will be get process data here we are going to input the document into this so let's write get processed underscore text and it will be given to the document so document so what do we want to return here we want to uh, you know return the perform lemmatization on the basis of the document that is available right so we are going to take the document and we are going to do both of these things that we have written before right we are going to perform lemmatization as well as translate on the basis of punctuation removal so first let's do the first thing let's return from the whole document perform underscore lemmatization and here let's write nltk dot word tokenize right so word underscore tokenize and then I should be giving it the document in lower letters so let's write document dot lower right so it should be given to it after converting it into lower letters as well as after translating it with the help of the punctuation removal right so it should be inputted into uh, the you know lemmatization after converting it into a lower format as well as decreasing the punctuation right so for that let's write dot translate and here i'll write punctuation removal so 
which I have I, I have already initialized so punctuation underscore removal so there we go so this is it this is the process with the help of which we can actually get the process text from the document so let me repeat this again we are going to input the document into the get processed uh, text uh, you know function and it will perform a lemmatization what will it perform lemmatization on uh, you know tokenized words right which will be inputted by that document which will be in lower format as well as without any punctuation right so i think this is step is pretty much clear and in the next step what i am going to do is i am going to make the greetings and greeting responses as well now let's make a few greeting inputs and greeting responses as well so first let's write greeting underscore inputs is equal to round bracket and i have already copied all of the greetings that i want right now right so the first greeting is hey then it is good morning then good evening morning evening hi and what's up right so these are all the greetings that i have uh, you know chosen after that let's actually uh, take on the responses as well so for that we are going to use a square bracket and i have copied the responses as well so let's write greeting underscore responses is equal to square bracket and in this we are going to uh, you know copy this so first response is hey how uh, and the second one is hey how's you and then nod or hello how are you doing and all of these will be responses of the chatbot right so what is the next step the next step is actually to make sure that we are you know generating these responses randomly right so for that we developed a function in the previous module as well let me repeat it again very quickly so we are going to make a function generate underscore greeting underscore response there we go and in this we are going to input the greeting and after this we are going to make it so for the first thing that we need is a for loop so for token if it is available in for token in greeting dot split so we are going to split the greeting and see if there is any token or not right and if token is available what we want to do is we want to see if token is in lower format right so if token dot lower in greetings dot input so all of the greetings that are given into this in greeting underscore input so what should happen then then it should give it a random response so for that let's return random choice ran random dot choice and what should be is choose from it should choose from greeting underscore response so let me repeat it very quickly the first thing that we did was we took greeting inputs these are all the inputs after that what was the second step the second step was we took the responses these are all the responses and then we use the function generate greeting response on the greetings right so greeting will be inputted right here and it will be splitted and token will be seen if it is available or not and if uh, token dot lower it will be converted to of course lower letter and if it is available right here in the greeting inputs what will happen is we will return a random choice from these responses so this is a very simple methodology to make a greeting function later we will move on to tfidf vectorizer and cosine similarity now that we have uh, you know made the function for generating response 
if you have been following along then you will know that the next step is actually to get two basic libraries which are tfidf and cosine similarity so let's do that so the tfidf vectorizer is available in let's write from scalar if you do not have sklearn installed just write pip install sklearn so from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction and after that i'll write dot text import tf idf vectorizer after that what is the next module that we are going to need the next module is cosine similarity to check the similarity between the sentences right so let's do that it is available in sklearn matrix pairwise so let's write from sklearn dot matrix dot pairwise import cosine similarity right similarity let's run this okay so now that we have both of these modules what is the next step the next step is actually to make a function that will be able to generate responses on the basis of user input so let's write that first let's define generate underscore response function so generate response is it uh, is you know what will be this functions input its input should be user underscore input after that let's write uh, in this function first the bot response so what is the bot response the bot response should be uh, you know null at the start so let's write that and after that we should be able to actually append into the data sentences so let's write data sentences dot append and here i'll write user input so user input will be actually entered and added into data sentences so this is the next part right and what are we going to do after that after that we are going to make a word vectorizer so let's do that so word vectorizer is equal to tf idf sorry t will be bigger tf idf vectorizer and here i'll write tokenizer is equal to get underscore processed text right so i'll be using get underscore processed underscore text as a tokenizer we have already made that previously right and i'll say that the stop words is equal to english so that uh, the only place that it will stop is when the word english comes into play right so basically mostly it is just a formality right after making the word vectorizer what is the next step the next step is to make all word vectors right so let's make the vectors now so all word vectors is equal to uh, you know we are going to uh, make the transformation on the basis of uh, that word vectorizer that we have just developed right this one and this transformation will be for data sentences so let's write all word vectors is equal to word underscore vectorizer dot fit underscore transform 
and here I'll enter the data sentences right and now that we have all the vectors that are going to be needed what is the next step the next step is to actually enter the similar vector values so let's do that similar vector values underscore values is equal to cosine similarity right so this time we are going to use cosine so cosine similarity and here we will enter all word vectors that we have made before so all word vectors and let's give it a position minus one right and then i am going to enter all word vectors with that right and after that what is the next step next step is to have the similar sentence numbers so let's write similar sentence number is equal to similar sentence sorry similar vector underscore values dot argument sort right and here i am going to perform the sorting on the uh, you know array number zero and minus two so now that we have written this the next step is actually to make the matched vector and sort that matched vector and at the end uh, you know use that match vector to give a response by the bot so for that matched vector is equal to similar vector values similar underscore vector underscore values and here i'll perform the flatten operation on them right so let's write flatten and after this i am going to sort these values so matched underscore vector under uh, dot sort right and after that what i am going to do is i am going to you know take only the minus two uh, position of this matched vector so for that let's write vector underscore matched is equal to uh, sorry is equal to matched vector and here i'll write minus two now that i have this the next step is actually to see if the vector matched is equal to zero right so let's suppose if the vector underscore matched is equal to zero then what should happen is the bot response bot underscore response should be bot response and it should be added that the bot was not able to understand whatever the user was saying so let's write i am sorry i could not understand you right and sorry you and then we should just return the bot response so let's return bot underscore response after that what do we need to do we need to make an else statement right so else is equal to bot underscore response is equal to bot underscore response plus uh, data sentences right so we are going to have the data sentences right here that we have computed from the topic that we have taken which is artificial intelligence in our case and here we will have uh, similar sentence numbers right so similar sentence number and later we are just going to return bot response so let's write return bot underscore response so this is it this is how we will be able to generate the responses uh, now i am going to download uh, you know a few of the data uh, a package right and then we are going to uh, you know 
perform the all word vectors again and check the cosine similarity as well so let's do that in the next video so now that we have made actually the generate response function and here we have actually used the tf idf vectorizer right to perform the vectorization uh, and after that we have used the cosine similarity to check which type of uh, you know sentences are similar to each other and which type of words are uh, similar to each other right and later we have made a uh, similar vector values with the help of that cosine similarity and at the end we have been able to see if the vector is matched then it should give one response if it is not then it should give another response on the basis of data sentences so what is the next step next step is actually to see uh, how we can actually use this bot right so uh, we have also done the, something like this previously here i'll do it again right so first thing uh, let's make a variable continue in dialog so this variable will actually tell whether we want to uh, you know continue the dialog or not so when it is true it will mean that keep on talking right so first let's make this true after that let's print out something like hello i am from a sciences hello i am from ai sciences and after that you can ask me ask me any question regarding ai why ai because uh, we have included the corpus of ai right so after that we need to write a while statement so what does this while statement entails it tells us continue dialogue right is equal to true so when this uh, statements will be uh, false then this will stop running so while continue dialogue is equal to true human underscore text is equal to input right so here what we are doing is we are taking the input from the user right so let's write input as a function and after that we have to actually convert it into lowercase so let's write human underscore text is equal to human underscore text dot lower now that we have done this and we have converted whatever we took into lower letters so what is the next step the next step is what if uh, you know uh, the value that human has given is by or something like that so then it should not actually give a response it should also say goodbye so therefore let's have an if statement which will work if human text is not equal to by so human underscore text is not equal to by right so it should only work that way right so if here we'll also you know enter things like if human is saying thank you or something like that so let's enter a few things like that right so if human text is equal to thanks or something like thank you very much right so uh, i will enter one or more uh, two more scenarios such as this so the second one is thank you very much right and let's say that there is another scenario which is thank you just right so or human underscore text is equal to thank you so if these are there then uh, you know it should uh, only do one thing and one thing that discontinue the dialogue so continue dialogue is equal to false so this should happen if they have said that uh, you know something like uh, thanks or something like that and here we should also print out uh, something like ai sciences 
ए आई साइंस इज मोस्ट वेलकम राइट सो मोस्ट वेलकम देर वी गो सो लेट्स पुट अ क्यू कॉमर्स हेयर एंड देर सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इफ वी आर इन इफ राइट सो वट इफ देर इज नो थिंग सच एज थैंक्स और थैंक यू वेरी मच राइट सो दैट वे वी गेट इन टू एल्स एंड वट शुड बी इन एल्स राइट सो इन एल्स देर शुड बी वन सीक्वेंस इन विच द ग्रीटिंग रिस्पॉन्स इज नॉट अवेलेबल राइट एंड देन वी शुड ग्रीट द ह्यूमन राइट सो फॉर दैट लेट्स राइट इफ जनरेट अंडर स्कोर ग्रीट थिंग अंडर स्कोर रिस्पॉन्स out of human underscore text is not equal to none right so it should only happen if uh, uh, it is not equal to none right then we should print out ai sciences and here uh, actually i just forgot the commas again right ai sciences and we should add something like generate greeting response that we have developed before right generate greeting response and here i will write human underscore text so there we go here a response will be generated from the human text right and after that we will get to the else of this if and what is else else is just printing out that uh, you know uh, and generating the response on that human text so first let's print out something as simple as ai sciences so ai sciences and then i'll just end at nothing so end is equal to this right and after that we should just print out uh, generate response right so we will generate a response here so here i should write generate response from the human text and after that what i should do is i should actually remove the values by writing data underscore sentences dot remove and here i'll write human text so human underscore text so this is it uh, this is the complete code and there is only one thing that is left that what should we do if uh, the uh, you know human text is by so in that case what should happen is it should just tell it to buy uh, to you know uh, delete the chat right so continue dialog will be equal to false in that case and after that ai sciences will say goodbye so let's print out something like ai sciences and here i'll say good buy and take care of yourself so now that we have completed the bot uh, i will show you how this bot is working so let's do that right now after this video now that we have completed the code let's actually test it once right so let's do that by actually running it right and uh, because our uh, you know page was regarding ai uh, i will try to ask it questions related to ai actually let's also see what was the page about so this is the page we have artificial intelligence here and other than that uh, we have history of artificial intelligence goals some things like that right so here i can ask it what is uh, what is ai 
ए आई ए आई और वट इज लेट्स राइट इट कम्प्लीटली आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड इट विल ट्राई टू फाइंड एन आंसर फ्राम दैट पेज सो प्रिसीविंग सिंथिसाइजिंग पढ़िंग ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आई बिलीव दे विल बी या दिस इज दिस वन राइट सो दिस इज वट इट इज आंसरिंग राइट हेयर एंड वी कैन एक्चुअली आस्क फॉर अ लिटल बिट ऑफ हिस्ट्री राइट और गोल्स और प्लानिंग और लर्निंग or let's ask what is natural language processing and let's do that what is natural language processing okay so natural language processing allows machines to read and understand human language all right so this is it this is the first sentence that it has picked up so uh, as you can see it is a very uh, nice working bot that we have developed with the help of machine learning right other than that you uh, we can also use things such as deep learning and a lot of new technologies such as amazon and open ai as well to develop multiple type of chatbots right nowadays chatbots are very important and they are being used uh, in, uh, in the industry a lot so it is actually reasonable to learn a lot about these chatbots so this is it for this project right and uh, i hope that we will uh, m uh, talk about some other course soon thank you very much